close your eyes, and think thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill is your wish for happiness, true happiness. Everybody looks for happiness in life, but the question is, how true is your happiness? And how is your happiness going to affect the happiness of others? This is something you have to be very careful about, because if your happiness depends on their suffering, they're not going to stand for it. That's why we have to have goodwill for all beings, so we can look after our actions. So when dealing with somebody, we say, oh, I've, I've spread thoughts of goodwill to this person, so I can't mistreat them. I've got to think about their well-being. That way you keep your own actions in line, because this is the scariest part of being a human being, is that we have these actions that shape our lives, and we're really careless about them. And sometimes we may even know what the right thing to do is, but we don't do it. We know that something's harmful, and we go ahead and do it. This is something we've got to watch out for. So you spread thoughts of goodwill to remind yourself you don't want to harm anybody. And then you try to establish a good, solid foundation inside. This is why we go from goodwill to the breath. So the mind has a good, solid foundation, has a sense of well-being that comes from within. The breath is like medicine for the mind, it's like food for the mind, shelter for the mind. All your requisites are right here. It nourishes the mind, it takes care of the diseases in the mind, and it protects it from its own greed, aversion, and delusion, which are worse than the rain and the snow and the cold. that we shelter ourselves from using houses and other buildings. So the staying with the breath provides a good, comfortable place to stay. You watch the breath to make sure that it's comfortable coming in, comfortable going out. You make adjustments if it's not. This way the mind has a good foundation. When you have a good foundation, you're a lot more trustworthy. You can trust yourself more. So that's a lot of what the meditation is about, is making yourself more reliable. Trusting your intentions, trusting your ability to carry through with good intentions as you strengthen the mind from within. So make sure that you've got this as part of your range of skills. We learn so much in school, we learn skills outside of school. But the most important skill is something many of us just don't even look at, which is how to learn how to trust ourselves. So that we know that when we engage with other people, we're going to try, we're engage in a way that's based on skillful intentions. And we're not going to let anything shake that trustworthiness. The more deeply the meditation goes inside, the more solid your concentration, the sharper your discernment, and the more you can trust yourself. So remember, the big problem in life is not trusting other people, it's learning how to make yourself trustworthy so that the mind doesn't become its own worst enemy, instead becomes its best friend. <laughs>